Hi guys, welcome to Vlogtober day eight. Um, I am filming this introduction on my iPhone, which I don't think I've ever done before, but um, I've just been to Pilates, performer Pilates, and it was tough, but I think in the last couple of sessions, I have kind of cracked it a little bit, um, because before that I was really struggling for a long time, like months. Um, but I think I have finally like, so excuse my hair, I literally rolled out of bed, I was running late. I think I have cracked it, finally. And now I'm gonna go for a run. Um, I really don't want to. <laughs> I am gonna go. I'm using all my willpower to just get in the car and not go into the house. So I've like walked back from Pilates, got in the car, ready to go to the gym to, to run. If I go in the house, I know that I will not run. So my theory around running at the minute is I, it's very rare that I feel motivation to run for like, because I want to do 5Ks basically. It's very rare that I get the motivation to, and I did try couch to 5K, but then I did find the progress a little bit too slow. Um, and I know I could mess around with it, but I just thought there's no point. So my new, my new kind of approach is um, I'm running for like 20 minutes every time and I'm going to try and increase the amount of distance I can do in that time. And I feel like that's much more achievable for me because a 20 minute run sounds a lot less. I realise I've just been looking in the wrong place. My camera's not there, it's there. It just sounds less long, it sounds more doable and it sounds like something I can do more often. So if I could just do 20 minute runs and increase my distance. I mean, a 20 minute 5k is really is a pretty fast 5k. So I'm not expecting to hit the 5k mark anytime soon. I see, I imagine once I get to like a 20 minute 4k, then I might like push on and do the final kilometer. But yeah, until then, I'm, I'm kind of a, about three and a half at the minute. Um, but I just can't, I can't be running for an extra 15 minutes after that. It's just too much. So that's my theory. Let me know if any of you guys have approached it that way before. I don't know if it works or I haven't really researched it. But anyway, so that's what I'm going to do. I need to adjust my seat position because <laughs> Zach was the last person to drive this car, obviously. So yeah, let's get to it, you guys. Let's get to it. But yeah, I was running out the door for Pilates this morning, so I did not remember my camera. So I am back at home. I'm going to have a shower and get ready for the day. Um, not sure what I'm going to do this morning. I'm gonna meet, we're going to meet my dad for lunch. Um, going to go to Ipudo, our favourite ramen place. But I'm not sure what to prioritise this morning before we go for lunch. Possibly editing the vlog, probably. Hi guys, so we're off into town. I'm wearing a hat in the car, even though I just washed my hair because it's just annoying me today. I know I'm just having one of those days. Also, I'm really struggling today, guys. I'm <laughs> not going to lie. I don't think I got enough sleep last night or something. So I'm feeling tired. So very excitingly, Zach's worried about seeing me vlogging. Right? <laughs> um, very excitingly, uh, I'm going into the Great Frog Shop this morning slash early afternoon because they have gifted me a few pieces, which I'm so excited about. You guys know I love the Great Frog today. Yeah, so I've got a few few new pieces that I'm going to be able to show you guys. Ah, oh, we just missed the bus. So I cannot wait to show you those pieces. I'm so excited to see them. And I'm also taking a couple of my other bits in just to be resized.
Hello my angels. So, that's my new term for you all the time. So I thought I'd show you my new bits from Great Frog. Um, thank you so much to Nicola from The Great Frog, if you're watching, for organising all of this. Um, I honestly couldn't be more excited. I'm trying to keep my cool. So first up, I have this gorgeous eagle ring, which is basically like the small version of my cuff. And it's the perfect thumb ring because it kind of sits flush to your finger. And that's what it looks like in a more normal fashion. I'm in love. I kind of, I feel like this is one that I'll probably wear when I'm wearing my gold rings as well. So um, I'll probably be wearing it just like I wear my kind of little signet one all the time. I'll probably wear this one all the time as well. But obviously it looks great with the whole collection as well. Um, I will link up all the individual pieces but they are all great frog. I think actually they might have made a little page at some point with my whole collection linked up on it but don't know if you'll be updated. And then we have this, I think it's called the Curb Chain. Um, I could be wrong, is it called the Curb Chain? No idea. I think it is, it's like, um, you're kind of not supposed to wear a pendant on this one because it's one of those kind of flat chains. Um, and obviously I'm wearing the heart pendant that Zach got me for my birthday on the Belcher Chain. Um, I think they look really nice together, but obviously this one also looks really nice alone. Um, I don't know if you guys are being able to see that properly, really. Anyway, so we've got that. And then, finally, I have an eye. I've been wanting a great frog eye for ages. They do rings and all sorts. Unfortunately, they don't do the eye rings in my ring size. So we did a pendant instead, um, and I need to get a chain for it because I think I want to wear all the three of these together. Um, so I'm going to buy myself a little um, thin, slightly longer chain, I think. But I'm in love. It's so beautiful. I chose kind of like a greeny, bluey eye. I'm sorry, the lighting is so bad because it's absolutely started chucking it down outside and it's really, really dark. So <laughs> it's hard to find some good lighting at the moment in the house. I'm just using Zach's shoulder because he's um, sat here but if you can see all the detail in the eyes they use actual glass eyes and they're all like hand painted um, so each one's slightly different um, and yeah they're gorgeous the detailing is crazy I'm in love so yeah need to get myself a little chain for this so I'm just having a little lie down, guys. Um, so yeah, we had lunch with my dad, as you saw, had a little wander around um, Covent Garden and that sort of area. And then he had to jet off, so we um, came back home. I'm gonna finish up all the little bits and bobs for the vlog, get that uploaded and sorted. We took a picture on the way home, so all the daily content is complete. And then I'm gonna go through the pictures from last week um, sort through which ones I think are worth editing, but I'm probably gonna have a nap because I'm tired. Like I said, I didn't get enough sleep. We went to bed too late and then I got up too early, which is my own fault, but I am dear. So just thought I would show you my outfit today as well, you guys, because I keep forgetting to do that, um, on the vlogs. You will have seen this on Instagram, um, algorithm permitting yesterday, if you follow me on there. Um, but I'll just show you on here as well. I can link up stuff more easily. So I'm wearing the Bite Blazer that I showed you a few Vlogtobers ago. Um, oh, I'm just loving it. Big fan. What about you? Big fan? I'm wearing um, this Free People t-shirt that I want in any and every colour that they make. Um, it's so comfortable. It's got like a contrast... Um, Oh my god, what do you call that? Contrast collar? Ringer. Ring? Uh, ringer tea? Is that what you call it? Ringer Something tea? like that. Um, I'm wearing these All Saints jeans, which I like for their kind of funny straight leg shape. It's a vibe that I like. I don't know, what would you say, Zach? More like... Boxy. Boxy, art schooly vibes. And then I'm wearing my new favourite boots, my Prada boots. Yeah, in love. They've still got some sand on them from the beach. But that's my outfit today. And then this beanie, which is actually a Nike beanie, but I've rolled it up so that it doesn't have the logo. I need to buy myself some 
logo-less beanies, I think, for the winter time. Um, just because I like them to be plain, actually. Now I'm a bit old and grey. And yeah, of course, I think all the great frog jewellery just finishes off the look. So that's my look for today. I feel like this is going to be one of those um, love it or hate it looks. Because it's, you know, it's a bit shapeless, but in a nice way, I think. Just turning the light off a minute because I think those spotlights weren't really helping out my vibe. So yeah, that's me. Bye guys. Here is my green green dinner soup. Oh my god, a model. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, he's sick of me. Just to let you guys know that I still love my dog. She doesn't move around as much and come and get in my face like the cat does. But I still love her. Hello, Denise. Hi, guys. So, coming to you with another nighttime get on ready with me's because it's just a nice time to have a little chat um, before I get ready to go to bed. Um, yeah, I'm sorry for being not quite as on it today. I fear I've got the least footage of all today. Um, but I just, as I explained this morning, I've been, didn't get enough sleep and my brain is in overdrive just trying to keep on top of a few bits and bobs that are going on at the moment, especially whilst my dad is over from America. So, yes, it's all go, go, go. But tomorrow should be slightly more chilled. It's my dad's 50th birthday, so we... I'm going to go out for lunch. Um, I've got slightly less to do because I know that I will be obviously at lunch and just kind of hanging out with the family. Although it's just occurred to me I'll probably edit Vlogtober a bit later tomorrow. So again, I'm sorry if it's late. But yeah, just wanted to say a big thank you to all of you guys who are leaving lovely comments saying that you are enjoying this year's vlogtober i'm so glad lots of you are enjoying it and also people that aren't leaving comments but are just enjoying it thank you so much for watching um i have been enjoying it this year myself as i'm sure you can tell getting a little bit stressed about my lack of reading though i've got to say um because it's been two or three weeks now since I've really been on my on my game on my reading but even though I could snatch like an hour here or there in a day um, I'm finding because I've, I'm obviously busier, I've got more on I've got a little bit less kind of brain power and concentration for it also because my mind's constantly ticking over but I reckon next week is going to be just slightly quieter at least a little bit so that should be good and hopefully i can do as much catching up as possible but i think i've lost a good few weeks there to my book buying van although i'm beginning to think that at the end of this year i should just kind of end the book buying van and just integrate whatever's left on my shelves with some new stuff just so you know there's some new new bits new in bits in there um, that I'm excited to read. I thought we'd be talking about books a lot more, but um, obviously not. I have tried reading the long take here and there, but yeah, it does require a little bit of concentration. It's just not something that I've had over the past couple, uh, like a few days, week or so. Also guys, I forgot to tell you, my dad um, bought me some pastéis de nata. <laughs> what, what a beautiful Portuguese accent I've just put on there. You will have seen it. And I forgot to take them downstairs when I had my dinner. So I'm going to eat one now. Ooh, even though I was trying to be healthy today. But I've got pastéis de nata, which I forgot about. So who cares?